Justin Bonds, uh, the founder and chief investment officer at Cyber Capital, if I remember correctly, said that Bitcoin security model requires the price of Bitcoin to double every four years or so, or for transaction fees to become ridiculously high to maintain the current level of security. Do you have any thoughts on this as something that uh, potentially could be a problem for that blockchain? Yeah, definitely. The finite supply of Bitcoin means that in uh, about a hundred years, there's not going to be any more Bitcoin to be emitted to miners. And that's exactly what it means. It means that in order for you to sustain the economic security of the miners still wanting to mine, you need the transactions to be really, really high. Um, I read this book, I think it's called the, the Bitcoin standard. Uh, and it posits, I don't know if it was this book, but I, I read this somewhere that it posits that at some point, if Bitcoin does become the standard, you know, gold and store value and unit of account and uh, essentially like standard for money that everybody can trust similar to gold, then you'll have a market for settlement of the L1 and all these technologies that we talked about, L2s, L3s, uh, Lightning, et cetera, can carry on most of the burden of the day-to-day -day transactions. Yet you might have like very large entities potentially like you know, a consortium of banks literally settling all the transactions that they did that one day, and it might cost them, I don't know, hundreds of millions of dollars for one transaction. But then, you know, that's the, the bulk of those are batch process, you know, billions of transactions that people were doing on lightning layer twos, layer threes, et cetera. And that's like, you know, the U S government's batch transaction that they put through to the L one and that costs, you know, a billion dollars. And then China does their batch transaction that costs a billion dollars. So, um, Bitcoin is like this system, this perpetual machine that literally, uh, it's, it's incredible. It's almost like a dumb AI and I'm not dumb in a way, but like, uh, just a simple AI that just its sole purpose is just to acquire more and more resources. And I literally think, uh, Bitcoin is a catalyst for something like a Dyson sphere, for example, where, you know, you can, you literally, if, if the end goal of Bitcoin is just to have more economic security to maintain money and be a store of value and a unit of account and literally the native internet money, uh, then you might have something like an AGI or something. I say, okay, I need to build literally solar power miners and then, you know, put that across the sun so I can beam back Bitcoin to, you know, continue paying my data center bill bills to pay the NVIDIA bots to, you know, build bigger, <laughs> stronger data centers to make my brain bigger or whatever.